Hey my people, what's going on? This is Major Major TV. Let's talk. I want to talk about, <clears throat> excuse me, the condition and shape of the black mind. Though we talk about in the sense of the brainwashing when it comes down to history, and history has been rewrote, re-examined, how a lot of things that we know to be named something or come from someone else other than black really is not the case. Everything originated from Africa, the motherland. Some of science, well, excuse me, science, astrology, religion, architecture, art, builders of stone, um, first entrepreneurs, medicine, what have you, right? The first um, number, alphabet, all that originated in Africa, but we know it's associated with every other group but black people. And this went on for a very, very long time. This played a big part in shaping and conditioning our mind. But we have to also go deep, deep, deep in this conditioning and shaping of the mind is that they also made us feel like we couldn't create a building without needing them. And some of our own people pass that down to our kids. And our kids and some incident reduced to thinking narrow-minded. We have to remember we just had the first president what, I don't know, several years ago, right? Barack Obama. Prior to that, that wasn't even a thought and idea. And you know how they treated him. And he didn't even really have a gender specifically for blacks, even though blacks benefited and he got criticized for not specifically passing something for blacks. He still was on the harsh criticism and the opposition. But I'd say the citizen, the level I was thinking, the clues we come to, the things we talk about, not all of us, most of us, we're thinking from a weird Western way of thinking. We have more of a Eurocentric white way of thinking. And we never really question it. A lot of us will look at news, read something on social media, what have you, and argue someone down, not even knowing what they're really talking about, the gist of what they're talking about or what they come or what the argument is all about or how they feel so passionate about something. We don't know how to do basic research, especially cross research. We don't know how to quickly look at things. We don't read as much. We don't utilize critical thinking as much. And we're too spontaneous. Thanks to the internet, social media, and how with robots and animation, automation, what have you. Everything's like this here. People drive fast, talk fast, do things fast without really processing what's going on around them. And this is what we deal with every day. We deal with this every day. A lot of us, even I've been guilty of talking about things, not fully knowing it, or uh, not really looking at all four corners, meaning researching, cross researching, and what have you. And some things can be prima facie, some things can be something you can read and say, yeah, okay, I, I can believe that. But things that you know that, you may not know or have a very question about it. If it's something you shouldn't want to know, especially somebody telling you about something. Our mind been conditioned and shaped to believe white people first, then black people. Oh, you can't. 
we're in a system without a white lawyer or uh, you know one thing the white folks you know the white folks this man blacks that um they ain't black business blah 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 you know the man and white folks blah 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 you know we say these things I've been guilty of that not specifically saying whites, you know, but just understand the fact that we say things that we don't think of. We say, yeah, they have black businesses that probably isn't as courteous towards blacks. But you have a lot of white businesses, other groups not as courteous as blacks. And I just feel like we have to be real with ourselves. As much as I know, and I say this in one of my videos, to be a black man and black woman, it's a job because you're always testing. And let's put it on you switch we have the process stuff. You can tell you get the right or wrong reaction. Cause you will think about everything you do throughout the day, do self inventory. But a lot of time I don't think we think about that. We allow sports, social media, hobbies or so to consume us and to escape from the real world, right? Because we know lose a bunch of propaganda they controlled by big companies Hollywood have been exploiting black people for so long it's ridiculous right and black people are still fighting for the respect of Hollywood the exploitation of black people period in music, movies, the media, horrible. This big dog cloud with black people is not a coincidence. Remember, everything associated with black, black was bad, black cat. We gotta watch the black cat. Um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, y'all. Y'all know how, what I'm talking about. It's not anything new. Um, we so quick to criticize black people as soon as they make a mistake. All this condition their brainwashing, that's forming the mind. And it's done a subliminal way. We praise a lot of rappers and whatnot that's making money and doing good for themselves. But the news they spew is a lot of negative music, right? And not for all the rappers. I'm talking about those who rap like that. And it's just so easy. That's why I was talking about capitalism in my last video about it dictates the arena. And if you run it behind money, because I always tell people, I don't run behind money. I let money run behind me. When you run behind money, you're going to compromise. You're going to say your soul. That's just what it is. But in our mind, we think we're doing the right thing. We find us to say, well, I'm going to do this because so-and-so did that. Or black people don't care, what have you. What you mean black people don't care? That's another thing. Black people don't care. They don't want you. That's not a lot of truth. Black people do care. Black people do want to unify. But I feel like if you're not trying to make the right step forward towards you unifying, it probably won't be no unity. But we are in denial about a lot of things that's happening in our lives and our community. And we don't realize the safety condition of our mind was a well thought out plan that started in laboratories of dealing with animals, insects, and the like to see how to put and take things out in environments and communities that people are functioning, talking in black communities. The Civil's Project, LSD Project, the cocaine, crack cocaine project that was put in neighborhoods that was tried on black people, tried on people in the military and so forth and so on, that was real. Them lab rat tests, those animal tests, that was real. We understand what psychology means. We understand what sociology means. It's about studying human mind, human behavior, 
in different settings and environments. What makes black people experience so distinct is the fact that we were brought on the shores that we was forced to live on and was given a word called a man called N-I-G-G-R, right? To remind us that we less than human. But then turn around and gave us their name, culture, religion, etc. And then they cloned them to the Negro. Well, this is the new version of the N I G E R N E G R O. And that clone of the Negro meant that everything that was instilled in them and slavery intentionally is something that's been passed on. To us leaving off the plantation. Hold on. All right, man. You thank you. That strap back on, or what? I'm gonna come in and do it. Okay. And when they released us, they already stood us with all this inferiority way of thinking and doing things, making the world complex. I mean, literally left us illiterate. Literally left us thoughtless, moneyless. And if black people like Carter G. Wilson, Mitch Case Negro, W. Du Bois, and Booker T. Washington, Marcus Garvey's, you know, Marvel Vesia, the more vessels of the world and whatnot, that Frederick Douglass and whatnot of the world that didn't pick up books or find ways to learn and educate themselves and then deal with all the, the miseducation and misinformation that was passed down. I don't know how it would have been as a people passing what they know down to us. But when we became smarter, they thought hard to subjugate our minds even more. We tend to use all kind of words that deal with enslaving of the mind, a subjugation of the mind, shaping and moving the mind. But whatever words we use, it is what it is. A lot of us that talk about the brainwashing or talk about what's going on in the community operate sometimes in the same mindset as whites. Sometimes not knowing the subliminal way that you're still molded the way they want you to think. The self structuring our community is an obvious example there. From the lowest level of us hurting each other to the highest level of the pro-conscious, of black conscious movement. That brothers fight among each other. Lord is debating, showing who know what and who know the more, more than the other, but never really sitting down as many women to solve the race in the black community. I'm appalled and insulted by sometimes looking at some videos on YouTube or reading certain things that just seem like it's counterproductive. And through the real essence of our true nature, our true existence, our rich history, and what has happened to us, we would never really be able to deal with the brainwashing and molding. I want to advocate live through example, not by words. And with this channel, I will demonstrate that. The molding and shaping of our minds was a diabol diabolical successful mastery plan. In order for us to really get 
some kind of true liberation spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, etc. It'll take pure sacrifice and focus. It'll take dedication to want to be better, to do better. And then also each one teach one the way. Look, this is Major Major TV. I enjoy speaking to y'all again today. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to get all the latest content. Y'all share, y'all like, and definitely comment. Let me know where y'all coming from. How y'all feel about this? If you have anything y'all want me to talk about, just let me know. Y'all just stay focused, stay on cool, and just be black. Peace.